colleagues, a quorum is not present for the proceeding of the Senate. Well, it has happened once again in Salem. Republicans have walked out of the job, halting all voting and discussions in the state Senate. It comes ahead of voting on bills about abortion and gender affirming care. There are only 17 Democrats in the state Senate and 20 lawmakers are needed for a quorum. Today, only two Republicans showed up on the Senate floor. Senate Republican leader Kim, uh, Tim Canope, pardon me, blasted Senate President Rob Wagner in a statement that was released just about an hour ago. He called Wagner untrustworthy, deeply partisan, and argued that he's violating Oregon Constitution. Canope says, and here are his words on the screen, laws are to be plainly written and easy to understand. When the majority of bill summaries that are written demand a postgraduate degree to understand what the bills do, we disenfranchise Oregonians across the state and violate the law in the process. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Kate Lieber responded saying Republicans are undermining democracy. She wrote in a, uh, in a statement, and we're gonna show those words to you as well. It is no coincidence that Republicans are employing these embarrassing antics as the Senate is about to vote on bills that protect reproductive health freedom and establish common sense gun safety laws. Now, you may remember last year, voters approved a measure that aims to prevent these walkouts. Lawmakers cannot run for re-election if they have 10 or more unexcused absences in a session. Tim Gordon is in Salem right now. He's talking with leadership on both sides of the issue. He'll have a full report for us coming up, starting with our news at 4 p.m.